Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about the Springfield Hellcat OSP. Um, I've actually had this for quite some time. Uh, it took me a while to actually do the review on it. Um, primarily because when I first got it, I kind of sucked with it. Uh, I'm not sure why. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Everybody else could shoot it just fine, but I couldn't. Um, I mean, I, I could hit the broadside of a barn, but the narrow side was escaping me. So um, I kind of waited a while to see if I could eventually adjust in. I've got like five, six hundred rounds to it now, and I can, I can, I'm comfortable carrying it um, at the ranges. I'm likely to need that. Uh, if we're talking about Indiana 40 yard range, now nah, I won't be taking that shot. Not with this anyway. Um, so anyway, it is a Springfield Armory. It is a Hellcat. It is of a size to my original MMP shield and my uh, SIG P365. Um, interesting story. I had a Springfield 911, which you've never seen one. Is the uh, it was a baby 1911, three inch barrel, uh, manual safety, single action, no grip safety, of course, because most of those don't. Um, this is a nice little gun. It said nine millimeter. It was great. I could I could shoot with it, and then one day the extractor fell out of it. So I sent it back to Springfield. They put an extractor in, sent it back to me, and I couldn't hit a damn thing with it. I mean, it was it was way off. Um, it was like six eight inches low left at eight yards. Or, I mean, at five yards. Um, even when I'm off, I'm not off by that much. It was a gun. So I sent it back to him, and I get an email about three days later. It says, "Hey, it's broke. We can't fix it. What do you want?" We don't make the 911 anymore. So I end up with this. So I have this now instead of a 911. Uh, as you can see, it is the OSP. It is the optics cut. Um, sooner or later, I will probably get one of those because um, I'm not a big fan of these sights. Actually, I love the front sight. I really do. That's a, that's a night sight. It's great. I can pick it up in day or night. The U-shape, it works okay during the day. But at night, honestly, I don't I, I mean... It, it there's nothing there. All you're seeing is the front side. I don't like that. Uh, if you're going to put night sights on it, do both. From from my perspective, uh, it does have a rail here that I can attach a light to. Which somewhere around here, I have one of those. I'll put on here sooner or later. Um, I like this whole thing. It uh, it's a nice little tactile index point for your finger to make sure that you're not on the trigger. And as you can see, it's on both sides. Um, this is the manual safety version. The safety is ambidextrous, both ways. And the slide stop is not, neither is the takedown. Uh, and the mag reverse is reversible, or the mag release, I'm sorry, is reversible. Um, that's the other thing. Nothing wrong with that trigger. I mean, I have no idea why I couldn't hit with this thing. So, uh, where was that? It comes with two magazines. This is the 11 round magazine. See, 11 rounds. Neither of them are flush fit as such. This one has a slight extension, which makes it fit my hand perfectly. Uh, this is the 13 round magazine. It, uh, it's honestly more or less the same as far as the front of it. A little longer in the back, obviously, to allow room for the extra rounds. Um, Let's see. If we use the conventional shorter magazine for carry and other for, you know, what are you doing? There we go. 18.24 ounces, empty. Twenty-three point three nine with twelve rounds, which for the uh, mathematically challenged among you is eleven plus one. But I'm sure you guys had that figured out. Let's see. Basic dimensions. Let's see. Yeah, we are set to inch. Let's zero that. 
the slide is 0.9. The grip is going to be a little wider, I think. 1.0. That's still pretty slender for 11 rounds. Or 10 rounds, I mean. No, 11 rounds. Um, I don't know if this thing's long enough to get the length or not. It is. So that's right at 6 inches. Height. Now yeah, let's do it this way. Four and a half. So it's pretty nice. Um, it's a good size. It's a good carry size. And once I got used to it and could hit something with it, it was a good, uh, good shooting size. Speaking of that, uh, I will now insert a picture of the uh, of a target that shows you how bad I was with it at one point. Um, there will be three targets. The top one will be the Springfield... I'm sorry, the SIG P365. Then just under that to the left will be this gun. Then to the right will be my original MP shield. I shot this back when I was still trying to figure out. Um, I shot those three back to back when I was trying to figure out if it was just me. Something with the size, but it wasn't. Um, one weird thing about this. It's kind of embarrassing, but it took longer than it should have for me to figure out how to take this thing apart. Because this moves the wrong way. Now, as I look at it, you see the little lip down here, and it makes sense, and of course it is, but it moves up. That is just weird. Every other gun I have moves down, but oh, what are you going to do? Oh, there we go. So anyway, you flip this up, and then you release this, sorry, there we go, the hell dude, oh, I clearly have some editing to do. So it took me longer than I would have thought or would have hoped to figure out how to take this apart because this moves backwards from what I was expecting. Every other gun I own, the takedown never moves down. This one, you move it up. Which, since it's got the ledge under it, that makes sense. But you know what? Never mind. Uh, it's just one of those things. And then you release it. Pull the trigger. And it slides right off. And I don't think I've cleaned this since the last time I shot it, so it's a little dirty. Oh well, um, I'll, I'll take care of that. It's only been a few days. And then of course you just put this together down and there we go. Like I said, uh, it's a little weird. Um, now the next slide should be uh, pictures of me that actually am able to hit something. The next one is at five yards. One after that is at 10 yards, which is actually honestly spreading out a little bit now, but still good enough for what I want. And then finally, my last group is at three yards. I didn't even look at the sights. I just put it and fired as fast as I could pull the trigger. No, no attempt at aiming, no attempt at slow or measured or any of that stuff. Just cut loose at three yards and see what I can do. Um, I was happy with the results. There was a magazine change in there too. I didn't time it because... I haven't gotten around to doing stuff like that yet. Uh, the grip texture is good. It's really, uh, it doesn't slip. It's just not going anywhere. Um, I like the way it's set up. It's kind of the same all over. There's the very slight finger groove here. That's fine. Um, doesn't bother me one way or the other. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a good little gun. I'm glad I got it. Um, this is currently the only gun I have that has one of these. Well, that's not entirely true because I just bought a Smith & Wesson equalizer today. But anyway, um, this is likely to have something on it soon. But we shall see. Uh, all right. You guys have a good one now.